Hi everyone, I'm super excited to stretch with you today. We're going to be working our wood element energy channels and I'm going to show you how to use the new release of the retro wood split flare leggings. So we're going to really be working the outside of our pelvis here. The gallbladder channel associated with the wood element is actually traced on these leggings. So you can see this seam running down the outside of my leg. The gallbladder channel then runs down the lower leg and finishes in the second little toe. That's on both sides, of course and it controls the back of the pelvis, the health of the back of the pelvis. So we wanna loosen that up so we can feel really good in our hips. And so let's start, get on your back. We're gonna start with our right ankle on top of our left ankle. Roll yourself back, easy does it. Bring your hands behind your left knee pit. So thread your arms through, finding your left knee pit. You're gonna kick your right ankle into your left knee. That's gonna light up the outside of your right hip. So you're starting to connect with that wood element, energy channel, the gallbladder channel. Keep kicking out with your ankle, please, and then drag your legs in towards your chest and opening and flossing the outer right hip. Yes, so sweet. So keep kicking your ankle into your knee, drag your legs in. We'll take four more, please. Keep kicking out, and if you want to add on, Lift your chin, look through your legs, sternum goes up and shoulders bottle cap down. Head goes down, legs go away. I lied, let's do three more, we can do it. So a couple more flosses here. The meat of this practice is creating the engagement plus the movement. So those two in combo create the magic sauce to make the internal exfoliation happen in the body. Let's add on here, just drag your legs over towards the left shoulder. So you're going a little deeper on the diagonal and you're getting deeper into the outside of the hip tissue here. So all this fascia can get really dense. We know if we sit, we get tight there. So we're working to floss out that stagnation. We're flossing away any hardened, dense tissue, and we're getting our chi to flow, our energy to move. Let's rock ourselves up, and we're going to keep our same leg working for us. If you have two blocks or fake blocks like me, grab those right now, and we'll bring our right leg forward for a little hamstring floss. You're going to pull your heel back so you feel very connected to the back of your leg. You're lighting up what is called the bladder channel in Chinese medicine. The bladder and the gallbladder, they're next door neighbors, so it's a good idea as we're opening up our wood element to also work our bladder channel. So flex your foot. You can keep your foot down on the floor or rock on your heel, your choice, but keep pulling your heel back in space. Let your shoulders drape down, let your ears be wide. And we're allowing the tissue to slowly, slowly disintegrate if it's dense and thick. So we're just inch by inch, layer by layer, little bit of stagnation out of time. We're kind of peeling back any of the stuff that is not supporting our body, our biomechanics, our energy flow. These channels of energy are, we think, made by the fascia. So the fascia is transporting the chi or creating the spaces in the body in which the chi flows. So here we are unkinking the garden hose. So if you think of those long channels of fascia, we're unkinking them so that the energy can flow more efficiently and more smoothly. Very nicely done. Let's go ahead and do the balance of gallbladder, which is liver. So we did the outside of our hip. If you can see that there, we're gonna go to our inner seam here, the liver channel, and actually it's yin, so it's running up the body. And I love this seam because it's just a visual reminder to bring my attention to my liver line as I'm flossing it. So I'm going to hug my legs together. I'm going to activate my inner thigh here. That's going to create that engagement that makes the floss possible. So 
engagement plus the movement. Remember that, that's your special sauce to make the floss. Oh my gosh, I just made that up right now. That's a fun one. We're gonna keep it. Squeeze and keep squeezing in and booty goes back. It's like you're gonna pounce. It's like you're getting ready to pounce. You're so active, you're so connected. You're really linked into yourself. So one of the main things I love about this practice is there's no escaping what's real in your body. So by engaging, by not making shapes, we're not here to make shapes. We're really here to connect to our bodies. The more we connect to our bodies, the more real we are with ourselves and the more we get to love ourselves, right? Full authenticity, full acceptance. And all this work is, is peeling back layers, right? We're physically peeling back layers. We practice the physicality so that it translates energetically, spiritually, and emotionally. Okay, that was enough soapbox and enough liver flosses. <laughs> Very nicely done. Maybe take a downward dog just to shake it out, walk it out. Let your heels drop down. Let your ears open, your shoulders pull back towards your hips and hands are planted. Make sure your elbows are not hyperextended. We always wanna protect our joints, number one here. Good, let's roll out to a plank. You can lift up onto your toes, roll out, peel out. Let your knees hover above the ground. Pull backs here, arms are pulling back and you're sitting yourself back. Ease in a little bit. You can look for it. It's just like how a cat or dog, your cat and your cats and dogs stretch at home, right? Pulling back and sitting yourself back. Let's go one more time. It could feel really yummy under your armpit zone. Very nice. Let's go right to the other side. So flip it over. Come onto your back nice and easy. Does it left leg's gonna cross over your right knee? I'm gonna just show you on a different angle here, here, in case you need some perspective. Kick away with your foot, keep kicking away, and then drag your legs in. Very nicely done. Kicking away with your top foot so you feel that engagement on the left side. You're lighting up your gallbladder channel once again. And as we kick away, See if you can feel like the back of your iliac crest, that's the back of your hip bones, the plate of the pelvis, the three plates, right? You have the right, left, and you have the sacrum. So the plate of the pelvis, all three put together, are going wide into the floor and just releasing, kind of almost like they're melting out sideways, like the trunk of your tree was expanding out, 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 out. If you squeezed your head and shoulder up on the first side, go ahead and do that. And we'll take three more. You can cross your leg over towards your right shoulder if you like. A little bit of a deepening into the outer left hip. Getting a little bit into the thickness of the, the lower layers, the deeper layers of the fascia. Good, and then we'll rock ourselves up. Come on up and flip yourself over. Grab your blocks if you have it. If you don't, no big deal. Your left foot's coming forward. You're gonna kick your heel back, keep kicking back, and sit your booty back. Amazing. So here we are in our um, water element. It is water season. In California, it's confusing because it's basically wood element season here. But I'm praying for more winter and rain and to um, counteract the global warming situation happening. So I'm saying little prayers for the daffodils popping out of the ground that they get a little bit more water. Yeah, and that maybe they go to sleep for a little while longer. Let's have a few more on this side as you pull your heel back and you stay connected of that tissue. So really air full acceptance, knowing you have a tool to work through any tenseness that you do have. It's a really great tool at your fingertips right here. Last three, excuse me, and one, very nice. Let's bring that leg back. You can shake it out once again if you need to, and then send it straight out to the left. So left leg to the left, you're squeezing in with your inner thighs, and then you're sitting your booty back. And you're working your liver channel. So gallbladder, that's the stability. 
the stability allows us to be in a space where we feel like we can make decisions. So actually physically feeling stable translates energetically. That stability allows us to make choices. Choices are associated with freedom, right? Freedom's in the liver channel here. So um, giving ourselves license to make choice feeling stable so that we can have the license so we're building on ourselves and the energy flow in Chinese medicine gallbladder comes first feeling stable then you go to liver which is freedom so it's kind of fun to play with that cycle last two please for your inner thigh on this side flossing the upper groin being really delicate and sweet but staying connected here I know this is a place we can build up a lot of tension. My teacher used to say it's associated with repression. It kind of makes sense. The legs just too tense together. So take it or leave it. Here we go, downward dog for a moment. Walk your heels out, let your head go, plant your hands. You can take a peel through your spine and then slowly lower your knees to hover and then easefully place your knees down. Let's do a little moment for our upper body. We'll go right arm first, right arm into a cactus shape here and then cross it over your body. Cross it over, plant it down, bring your other hand on top. Keep plugging down with your right forearm as you dip your right ear. So we worked our wood element and here we are working metal. This is controlling our shoulder girdle. So we're gonna mirror our pelvic girdle that we just worked on, and we're gonna mirror it in the upper body here. So as you plug down, allow your heart to puff up towards the sky just a little bit. So you're getting a spread between the scapula and the rhomboid, rhomboid to spine. So you're getting a nice spread on the outer right shoulder here, and you're creating space. So as we floss, we're trying to decompress. Flossing equals decompression because the fascia, when it gets dense and hardened, it kind of smushes our body in. And we want to create as much space as possible. More space means more circulation. More circulation means more oxygen flow. That means more healing capacity and just overall harmony in the orchestration of our living organism. Isn't the body a miracle? My goodness gracious. Okay, easy does it to come up. Grab a little something that you can stack. So books, or I'm using a flower pot today. You can use that, or you can um, stack some blocks, or use a coffee table, totally perfect. Back to your cactus shape. Plug down with your forearm. I'm gonna move my fake out blocks out of my way. Keep plugging down with your forearm and dip your heart down. You're working your lung channel here as you engage and create energy through the pec muscle and the pec fascial tissue you're plugging down with your elbow to make that happen and as you lower yourself down you're getting a nice floss in the front of the chest that tissue links all the way through your chest cavity so you're creating space for the lungs the thymus the thyroid the heart how about it? We'll take it. Let's go for two more on this first side. That feels nice. Little opening in the front of the shoulder. Easy on the range. If it feels sticky on the back of the shoulder, mitigate your range, right? Okay, let's switch sides. We're going to bring our left arm up into that tabletop or uh, sorry, not tabletop, your cactus shape, and then cross it over your body, cross it over your body. Plug down with your forearm and then dip yourself down. Good, and you're gonna go for a few. As I dip down, I'm also puffing my heart back towards the sky, so you get a spread between the scap and the spine, and you're working your large intestine channel here. Very nice. I'm gonna scoot you into the shade just one moment. Keep going with your floss. You can do it. Yes. Very nice. You have four more, please, on this side. Feel nice and connected to your lower ribs. They can pull up into your spine a little bit. That'll also help you get into the depths of the shoulder tissue here. Layer by layer. Here we go. 
each pulse counts as a new exfoliation, getting one sweet layer at a time. Very nice. Cool. Try your, your pec stretch on the other side. So get your little block set up or whatever it is. Cactus shape with your left arm. Forearm plugs into the setup you have and then dip yourself down. Uh-huh. As you're going down, you're still supporting yourself. Your midline is hub hugged up into your spine and you're feeling into the tissue that links from your chest cavity down your arm. So we think, primarily we tend to think of our limbs, but really when we formed an embryo, we were a blob and our torso was like a little burrito and our appendages expanded and grew out of our burrito blob. So think of your torso as the initiator, the connector, so see if you can pull your mind's eye into torso. It's, it's harder for our imagination to go into the depths of the torso, which makes sense because it's like it's a mystery in there. And our arms, our hands, our feet feel more familiar to our mind in a certain way, in an outside way. But see if you can go from the inside and kind of as if you were a submarine. You got really interested from the inside the interiority and then you went to the exterior. You went proximal to distal, proximal to distal, distal is the end. Okay, we have one more thing today that I wanted to play with. <gasps> oh, I broke my pot, goodness gracious, I'm flossing so hard. Wow, that was exciting. Okay, <laughs> that happened. We're gonna do one more thing since we're working our wood element, that was kind of the focus for us. We're gonna fi finish off with the pelvic girdle the number one stretch I like to do for that. So stack yourself leg up on top of leg in a 90-90 shape with your body, flex your feet. You're gonna lift your top leg to the sky. Make sure you don't roll back with your pelvis, but you're nice and stacked, engage your trans transverse abdominis here, and then use your top hand to plug you down. Inhale, lift up your knees, reaching to the sky for resistance so you feel active in the outside of the hip here, your back in your gallbladder channel, using this seam. If you have our wood element pants, so you can kind of map and track that. That was very funny with the pot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to let my papa know. Here we go, we have a few more on this side. Pull your belly to spine and then take that press up to the sky as you plug with your top hand, taking your other knee down, feeling the heat and the transference, transference of chi down your IT band. That's how your gallbladder chi runs. So you're getting a little hot there, you're moving the energy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Take a nice easy twist to just kind of release that for a second. Take a breath, feel the openness in your chest. Good, and switcherooski, change sides for me. We're gonna finish this off on the second side. Lift your top leg up so you can be um, at the beach with your hand or you can lay your head down, your choice, your choice. Lifting up, keep plugging up to the sky and then smush your knee down. I'm just gonna turn my angle here a little bit for you so you can get a better view. You're lifting up, your belly is in. You're feeling nice and stable on your upper body. Your upper rib cage is hugging into your spine just a little bit and nice and bright on the outside of this second leg here. Connect with your breath, connect with your lower belly. You're imagining that pelvic girdle. Remember I was talking about the compression. So if the fascia is kind of tight and smushing the pelvis in, 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 we're actually allowing the fascia now as we floss to expand out and let our pelvis take its space. Take up your own space, right? This is something that we talk about in the wellness world all the time. Sometimes I wanna gag myself a little bit, but it's true, you wanna take your space and you want to allow your body to take its entirety of its space so it can sync up and orchestrate as best it can. Let's go for three more. And two. 
Ooh la la, I got nice and warm there on the outside of my pelvis. Let's go for a relaxing twist. I always say free the pelvis. Very nice work. You can pat yourself on the back for that just now. That was so fun. Good, come on up and then we'll take um, a point to finish off. So I love this point in Chinese medicine. The poetry name is jumping circle. It's right on the glute there, kind of in the thickness of your glute. You have these two big bones. So you're gonna feel around there for that point. Um, it's fun to have the visual or the texture. If you have a ball, you can pop that right there at, in the point and then you're gonna go ahead and roll on that ball, ooh la la. I mean, there's a reason it's called jumping circle, right? Or if you have two blocks, it's better with real blocks. If you have fake out blocks with me, it doesn't work as well. You take your two blocks, you roll up to a bridge, and then you're gonna pop the blocks right into that little point. If you have real blocks, I would say they go on the middle setting, so the middle height or the lowest height. And then you can just relax your pelvis down. Actually, it works with jars. This is working just fine. I have never tried it with jars before, to be honest. And you can take little wiggles with your hip bones and just allow the tissue to start to soften, receive the message to this point to kind of relax and open up the passage of energy. If this point is stagnant, it's hard for the chi to flow on the outsides of the body going down and up between the lower body and the upper body. So this is a really great point for that. It's a great point to release the hips. It also will support some knee health as well. So give that point a try. Um, jumping circle is its name. I like to call it tight, tight booty because it can help you release a tight booty or help you get a tight booty, what, whichever one you want to be doing. <laughs> so enjoy your day um, and just praying for lots of peace for this world. May our practice invite us and move us towards working to that. Okay, my loves, have a good one. And it's so good to have you for a little stretch here. Ciao for now.